Hello everyone. So I recently was uh, talking to one of my client and uh, I normally when I have two let's say 10 calls I don't always use my ThinkPad X220 which by the way is a wonderful machine but it sometimes struggles with the uh, zoom calls or maybe doing google meet calls and it is fine i know it is it, it is a bit old machine it works mostly it works but uh even if uh, it causes some trouble once in let us say 20 times then uh, it is of course still not good because sometimes when you're talking to clients especially clients you want you don't you don't really want to be disturbed by uh, by the machine right you you want a seamless interaction and uh, that is why mostly for my client uh, calls i use uh, another laptop it is usually my other mac which i always have somewhere or maybe my other computer but when when i'm when i'm talking to my clients i of course have to take notes and uh, I am not uh, massively rigid about uh, using uh, a specific way to t to take notes. Of course, I use org mode, and org mode is uh, definitely my 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 repository of all my notes. But it is not always feasible and uh, possible to have your notes, your org mode directory. So I use org mode uh, files. Uh, within a folder which is synced with all of my devices so i anyways have access to my to my notes all the time um, but the problem is that sometimes you just need to quickly open up let us say your gmail i use gmail i mean by the way uh, so i'm still not confident to host my own uh, email i've done that in the past but it is you know it when you're trying to you know do business you need uh, you don't you don't really need to worry about uh setting up emails on your own server it is a pain to be honest um i'm sure one day i will do it but uh, that is not really the priority for me right now so i use gmail uh sometimes uh to take notes yes you can do that because when you have to take notes you just need uh, you you literally just need uh, nothing but uh, a place where you can type now good thing about uh, taking notes is using notepad or I mean, yes i also use notepad because i also work on windows yes i have to work on windows because sometimes you don't really have a choice so if you have if you have let us say some way to take notes so although i have emacs installed everywhere but even if you have emacs you might not have org mode or even if, even if you have your org files available with you you might not be able to always uh, 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 use org mode setup to quickly take notes sometimes you just let us say um, have to quickly write down few things and then of course make sure that you move it somewhere now good thing about org mode is uh, the way i take notes is extremely simple and that is the best part about it whether i'm using notepad in windows or gmail i can just take notes and then i copy and paste it to my because i i eventually move my notes to if they are not already there i move move them to my repository so to take notes of course you need to of course use star or asterisk which is right now converted as a bullet because i'm using a mode but let us say you are not using any mode or there is no org mode let me just switch to what are the, what shall we do now i'm trying to think of a mode maybe i'll use csv mode i'm sure there is a there used to be a text mode yeah so okay so this is a normal text mode right so uh, let us say you have Emacs or whatever editor that you're using. In this case, of course, I'm, of course I'm using Emacs, but I don't really have org mode, right? <laughs> it can happen. Sometimes you're working on a laptop where uh, you may have Emacs. You might be able to install Emacs, but you might not be able to install org mode. I think org mode is already there by default. You don't have to install it. If I remember correctly, the moment you install or Emacs, you get it. But uh, uh, the point is that when you're taking notes, just make sure you do take notes using this format so that you don't have to worry about converting it. So, uh, org mode, if you, if you know it, it follows the structure of asterisks and asterisks within, within asterisk. So, if you have one asterisk, this is uh, um, adding 
one, right? Now, of course, nothing will work here, like control, uh, enter, shift, enter, depending upon your configuration. So let us say if I'm in a call and uh, um, I'm talking to my, my, my clients. So I usually keep this attendees somewhere on top. And then within this, and I try not to have too many levels. For example, let us say the first attendee is, uh, and don't worry about indentation at all because our mode will fix it. So let us say Ravi Sagar is the principal consultant, right? And uh, what you can do is you can of course keep on you know, adding more items here. Um, developer, person two, is uh, a business analyst so you anyways have a lot of time when you are talking to people like when you're talking to them it, it is of course not very difficult to write these things so usually i fill up these things in the beginning like attendees and uh, because you you can fetch it from the calendar now the main thing is of course the actual note taking so i start with of course you know introductions or you know initial Usually when you start the call, if I'm especially if I'm talking to someone for the very first time, I would like to know uh, a bit more about people. So uh, Ravi is uh, doing these things. Um, and, I, and I try to keep things flat. He is responsible for uh, those things. He wants to do blah, 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 right? So same, uh, don't try to create too many subtrees because it will keep things neat, especially if you move, if you're trying to move it, uh, or if even if you're looking at this particular note, right? So there is no intonation, there is no bold, there is no like special uh, effects here happening that will enhance the viewing experience. Of course, you can uh, use org mode, come on, and it will look wonderful, like straight away because uh, you have ind indentation and uh, these nice fancy bullets will also look and uh, enhance the experience. So this is of course for the introduction, for uh, um, for the actual discussion. So I, I just keep, uh, yeah, this is something that I struggle with. But anyways, so there is nothing, like there is no, um, there is no white space in front of it. So th if you press asterisk so i keep like one level for taking notes that is it like especially when i'm on calls later on when i um like after after the introductions i of course you not know, get a bit more into the details uh so discussion right something like this and of course keep on writing whatever you're trying to write and you don't have to write uh, or you don't have to follow this hyphen i prefer hyphen because uh, uh, when you when you're when you're taking notes these hyphens uh, actually helps to or, or in a way force you to take notes uh, without writing lengthy sentences just write one line okay then move on one line move on to the next uh, to the next uh, line and so on so teams priority is uh, to implement uh, Jira by August 2022, right? And uh, they want to start with uh, Team A and so on, right? So when you when you make notes using this approach, you can actually do it any way you want. It is in a way still readable, of course, uh, even if you look at asterisk and hyphens. If you have to use, uh, let us say, subtrees within subtrees so use double asterisk sometimes you need to do it which is fine for example if you're trying to create some uh, categories okay let us talk about project category within this discussion so you can have uh, project category right and uh, i know it is a bit too much but a good thing is that if you use hyphen here it will be within that uh, double asterisk which is like the project category subtree and uh, project two and project three and finally i like to have like next steps schedule a meeting next week 
um, Ravi Sagar will organize a demo. And that is it. Now, good thing is that the moment you paste it to your uh, to your org file or just save it as a .org, you have like proper notes. So that is the beauty of uh, taking notes with org mode. You, it is actually extremely simple. I don't really think it can get any simpler than this. Of course, uh, whenever possible, I use org mode straight away if I can. Uh, but uh, this is of course uh, the the bare minimum that you can do if you are struggling or thinking of uh, maybe keeping your notes in sync or maybe if you don't have access for any any reason there could be any reason uh, when it comes to use, using org mode uh, as I mentioned before I use uh, org mode the entire directory where I have org files uh, because I use Emacs in a portable way but 99% of the times it is only my ThinkPad uh, where I keep my notes but if, if you start using org mode, if you start uh, playing with it, you will eventually also uh, start inserting some dates here. Uh, and of course, it is nothing very schedule a meeting next week by maybe 14th of this, this particular date. And good thing is that if you go back to the text mode, it is nothing but a date, right? Nothing but a format that you have to use. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about uh, today in this video. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.